Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are from Group 4. In this video, we want to present and explain about production of speech and language. Before we start our presentation, I want to introduce my group members. There are me, Atika Angela Putri, Fitri Diani Rizki, Maya Octaviana Zaini, Risma Febi Wahyuniti, and Maulida Fortuna Usma. Okay, let's begin the presentation. The first presentation will be delivered by me, Atika. <clears throat> okay, first of all, I will present about the introduction of this chapter. So this chapter focuses on language version, how humans produce it, whether it is spoken or written. From the initial mental concept to the spoken linguistic result. This chapter is divided into three sections. First, slips of the tongue. Second, formulating linguistic plans. And the last is implementing linguistic plans. Next. Language production means the production of spoken or written language. It describes all of the stages between having a concept and translating that concept into language form or spoken. Someone can produce the language when an idea or he puts into words and other someone else hears the sounds, recognize the words and understand the speech. Language production involves the retrieval of information from memory, the planning of an articul articulatory executive control, and self-monitoring. These processes can be related to the domains of long-term memory, motor control, and executive control. Next. Uh, look occurring in creation of language consists of the following stages. They are intended message, it's into language form, encode linguistic form into speech or motor system. Next is sound goes from speech, mouth, ears, ear, or motor system. Speech linguistic form is decorated into meaning. Next. Next slide, please. The so next is about speech production. Speech production is the process of uttering articulated sounds or words, how human speech. It is a complex feedback in which also hearing and information processing in the nervous system is involved. Speech production is an active embodied in a complex system. It is produced by a cooperation of lungs, glottis with vocal cords, and articulation tract that is mouth and nose cavity. The speaker speech signal in the form laser well, the head ears. Next. Speech production need to incorporate the following stages. They are a conceptual stage where proposition is to be expressed is identified by struct form. The second is synthetic syntax stage. And is in are to be inserted. The next is a lexical stage. 
there a meaning through one search of, of the text place supported by Kuz as one physical entry word is information about the word it's potential phonology and morphology the next is final stage where the abstract information can so far converted in like form is upon features such as simulations are introduced and instructions are prepared to the muscles that control the the next presentation will be delivered by Maulita Fortunausta. Thank you, Atika. It's about slip of the tongue. Slip of the tongue are a mistake by tongue slip are one kind of speech error which articulation and sometimes slip of the tongue called spoonerism spoonerism is the initial of two or more and Serendu Sartor in 2004 stated that it's a complicated mental processing which is happening entirely of consciousness. So we are not aware of doing anything. If expect we hear ourselves saying something funny and and happening at sliding speed that we're not aware of any time looking. And Victoria from Kick. Slip of the tongue are often the offer from one word to the next. So slip of the tongue is an act that occur unconsciously and intentionally below our left contentness and occur very quickly. And the sound is carried from one word to the next. Usually, because we are nervous, we make a lot of mistakes, and we wish, and when we speak, we, we, we talk as well, talk to the friend, to family, and open the tongue. Next, and next, for example, you say you posted the whole term, but the tongue, and then say you have it the whole world the other is the dear all it's slip of the tongue and we when flower let flowers the letter f and r are it changes okay next about note to speech step is conceptualizing or message planning the speaker decide upon intention or some content express or a speak contently thing of he is going to say and usually car slip the second is formulating is determined how to express of the particular word that and in formulate included to the first deciding which word to use in for selecting a word in one vocabulary and the second one can some process in process constructing the sound and organize the best and the space in the motor program to realize and the third step is articulating this is when we take a what 
he has taking and in formulate articulating you store slip of the tongue and it is self monitoring the speaker reflect on what he offers thank you and is the time of moves to different regions uh, atau shift itu adalah ke keliru penempatannya for the example she decide to hit it uh, the tar S-nya itu adalah she decide to hit hits it. And the next is exchange. Exchange is units exchange positions or saling berganti atau terbalik. For the example is get your model. The error is getting your models and target is being your nose remodeled. Is a unit is activate, activated too early, let segments as of an atau unit baru yang digunakan for example is the Next is additions. Additions, which unit is added? Uh, pada formulating dan eh, salah. Namun, konseptualisinya benar. Uh, for example, is black, the error speech is black boxes, but the target or the meaning is black. And next is per Perseverance. Perseverance is an years and unsur ketidaksengajaan. Kesalahan yang sesak. Kesalahan tidak. For example, the error is we and I, but the meaning or the target is C. Other other example is when key not karena anak kecil tidak sementara uh, sementara jika dewasa yang berbicara means and then next is the uh, it is deleted ada unit yang terbuang seperti of open speech error nya but anonymity of opinion jadi itu ada yang gen terbuang. Oke, okay, the next is substitutions or a unit is changed into a different unit or ada dirubah tetapi malah disengaja untuk mensubstitute unit tersebut. For the example is is bad. This is error speech, speech error. But the target or things is where is my tennis racket? Okay, the next or the last is blend is two speech units are combin mengkombina mengkombinasikan dua unit yang sebenarnya dikombinasikan terjadi karena first. For example, purple. 
purple is speak and the target or the meanings is people. Okay, next. Formulating linguistic plan. A step of production of speech that deals with all a speech in formulated it is. So before speech to formulate it on our brain, after is it it's formulated, then we are ready to utter this thing. And then these things happens in our brain. Uh, we hold our, our concept and then we formulate it to grammar, structure, and pick up sometimes uh, best dictions and pronunciation. Yeah. Formulating linguistic plan ini adalah salah satu langkah proses menyusun language or speech productions. Okay, I think enough for me. And then the next presentation will be delivered by Asma. Thank you. Okay, now it's my turn. The serial model of serial models assume that we begin with the overall idea of an utterance followed by synthetic or contain words, morphemes, and phonology. And that's the process into six one stage for determining pronunciation and a stage for the determining what's called the serial model does not only be completed one at a time. So here's from Kinsel of speech production from the stage one identification of meaning. So it's determined what aims of utterance so it can produce purposeful sentence from my so this for she already packed two packs. And then next is stage two selection of a synthetic structure in so it is used proper sentence structure so it will more understandable and organized for this phase uh, it's include um, involve noun adverb verb adjective and noun again uh, according to target output, she already back to packs. And then stage three, the generation of intonation contour. It assigns stress in word to give different color of the sentence that it's like its expression of emotional to emphasize sentence meaning such as different intonation when asking an order. With this target output, she already, and then stage four, insertion of content words. It's choosing which word should among hundred of words exist. In this first output is she already packed blah 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 to pack blah 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 with the target output she already packed to packs and in this in this stage it the errors occur at verb and noun that it's supposed to be used back to backs and then the stage five is form formation of and function words. It plays appropriate affixes and function words to develop the sentence before author them. With target output, she already 
three back to back. And then the last stage, stage six is Education of four members. It's a uh, to way pronounced in common with first output for noun is uh, E and for to E and etc. And then for next slide, please. Okay, thank you. And so operation ex exists for a variety of criteria, no criteria according to Motley 1983. So what often happen after a speech segment is uttered or after individual speak. And sometimes we also have editing processes before articulate correct our by ourselves. And there are two conditions pure relate prior to articulation. First is phonological bias that so it is a technique that involves habituating a subject to a particular pattern of word initial phonemes, which means sometimes people make mistakes because of similar phonemes. And the second one is lexical bias effect. The likelihood of word errors are more of errors that result in non-words. This, for example, Those bus door, bin deck, bell tar, darn poor. It can make errors in the last word to say burn door, especially if the speaker asks to say it fast. And so it suggests that while we are speaking, we typically develop more than a sing single speech plan. And in that case, the two plans can compete for product. And sometimes there is error occur as evidence of an editing process come off after arranging spot before addition. So the next slide will be delivered by Maya. Okay, thank you, Risma. Uh, slide is implementing linguistic. We have considered the first two steps of the production process, the development, not to be expected in the structure. We have a linguistic plan for our and self-monitoring. Like this, articulating. Oh, uh, sorry, articulating. Once into a linguistic plan, this information must be sent from the brain to the muscles in the speech system, so that they can then execute the required movements and. Fluent articulation of speech requires the coordinated use of a large number of muscles. 
these muscles are distributed over three systems, the respiratory, the laryngeal, and the supralaryngeal or vocal tract. The first is the respiratory system. Uh, the respiratory system regulates the flow of air from the lungs to the vocal tract. <coughs> the act of the act of This is accomplished by the action of several muscles near the ribcage, lifting and enlarging the ribcage. The, the rib cage. The second is the laryngeal. The laryngeal system consists of the vocal cords or vocal folds, which ends of muscular tissue in the larynx that can be set into vibration. The system is responsible for the distinction between voiced and unvoiced sound. For voice sounds such as uh, the air ex expelled from the lungs in turn into acoustic energy by the action of the vocal cords. When a voice sound is to be produced, the vocal cords are nearly touching one another. And when air passes over them, a suction effect that draws them together occurs. Once they have low and thus no suction effect. This causes them to pull apart and release the tension that has built up and beneath them. In contrast, when the sound to be produced is a voiceless sound such as p, air still passes over the cord, but they are too far apart for the suction effect to occur. The last is supralaryngeal. The supralaryngeal system consists of structures that lie above the larynx, including the tongue, lips, and velum. The structures of the coral oral cavity, or the mon and pharynx, and the nasal cavity. Phonetic segments can be distinctly described in terms of the articulatory maneuvers used to produce them. For example, like the is produced by stopping the airflow temporarily by placing the tongue and the tip of the alveolar ridge. So all of the structures involved in speech production have another function. The main function of the respiratory system is, of course, breathing. The tip and tongue are used to chew and swallow food. The larynx operates as a valve can controlling the airflow to and from the lungs and preventing food from entering the lungs. However, when the structures are used to produce speech, the pattern of coordination is different, a major challenge for speech researchers is to coordinate it so mostly during the production of speech. Next slide. <clears throat> uh, this slide is motor control of speech. Motor control of speech, motor comes from the brain. As we assemble a linguistic plan for our utterance, the brain structures responsible for speech production send messages to the muscle in the respiratory, laryngeal, and supralaryngeal systems. Let us focus on the motor commons to the muscle in the vocal tract. It is generally believed that this motor commons to speech muscles take the form of commons for the articulators, tongue, lips, and so on, to move to a particular location. If the next phonetic segment is B, the muscles controlling the lips must be brought into action. Whereas if it is K, the muscle controlling the velum, one way to think of the motor commons then is that they specify a series of targets located in the vocal tract. Next slide, please. Self 
verbal self-monitoring is the set of processes speaker used to inspect their own speech and to intervene when trouble arises. Theories in the model and manner in which they propose that monitoring is archive. A repair consists typically of four phases. In the first, trouble occurs and is detected and is detected by the speaker who decided to interrupt the original utterance. Possible reasons why a speaker might want to interrupt the flow or speech. But two major sources of trouble were found in the corpus of self repairs on which the present study is based. The third is hesitation or editing terms. Editing terms vary in the degree of contrast they at least. If the term is no rather, no rather of the touch corpus or sorry, it involves the explicit rejection of what was said. But if it but if it is therefore it rather confirms the previous expression. The degree of contrast set up depends on the occasion for repair. <clears throat> Error releases much more contrast than does inappropriateness. Indeed, with much of terms such as no or sorry repairs than inappropriateness repairs. And the last is self-repair produce. A uh, repair is marked when repair a trouble item differ periodically. We found that error repairs are far more often prosodically marked in 53% of the cases than appropriateness repairs only 19%. And we could show that this is indeed due to the degree of semantic contrast established in the Next slide, next slide, please. Insights from sign language. Studies of sign language production are valuable because they enable us to distinguish between those aspects of production that are cons constrained by broad biological forces and those are and those that are specific to speech. Sign language, because it exists in an entirely different mode from speech, it will differ substantially from speech in terms of grammatical organization. In contrast, basic similarities have been found in the two modes, organization of basic and units into words or signs and in the syntactic syntactic rules by which words and signs are combined to form sentences. Illustrated by slips of the hand, which like those of speech typically involve the systematic error in a sign linguistic unit, these results provide evidence that the parameters underlining signs are planned independently of one another. Studies of production rate, in contrast, reveal the differences between the two modes. Speakers achieve difference in speech rate primarily by revering the number of pulses, whereas signers vary the duration of signs, segments, and both the duration and number of pulses. The similarities reflect the effects of respiratory functioning on speech but no sign. So in the sign uh, language is use our hand or maybe our mouth but not, not the voice on it. So the next slide please. The last part is conclusion. So the conclusion of all the material above, sound and speech produced production is a universal and systematic process in which vocal tract and its different parts function in a specific 
functioning of any part of vocal tract can affect our language articulation. So when we want to say something that uh, have many error, it could be sound and speech production. And the part of our body is sound and speech production too. So yeah, that's all for our that's all for our presentation today. Sorry for uh many what is it? Kesalahan. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum.